the water. Yeah. I want one don't throw the water in it. I take a Andrews. The stomach are burning me, eh? Yeah, and and the Andrews. Hi, Blanca Shop. Wake up there. Look at the cover, there's a plastic cup in there. Mama, Chris Wapen. Fasting over, you know. I'm praying in my bathroom and seal it. And we give God thanks. And it just in my spirit, sit down in my room. And I just want to say a quick little word before I go with me and go. Bless you, bless you, bless you. So, day one of our three day fasting. Thanks. Every day, so till now to when the fasting are close at 12 o'clock midday. Yes, big up Jamaica, God, Lord Jesus, big up. When you fast, because a lot of person you read up here and we say, We are fast. And then think of fast out the road, fast in our people business. Yeah. I fast in our people business. We I do, but I do that. Cause I wanna do none of the above. But um I'm a drink like an angel. Mr. Moka burn me. Just burn me so. I'm going to drink some ginger tea. I don't know when I drink ginger, it trouble me too much. I can't take strong ginger. And juice. Sorry. When I drink ginger, it affect me too much. Forever since. So I'm going to drink a ginger tea and it burned my stomach. Anyway, today I put on my perfume and I get a word. I forgot what I'm eating, but it put off till Thursday. Mm. Me put it off because I tell them I'm going to do fasting. I'm not like, sorry. Mm. Jesus, I guess. <laughs> Murder. I don't like the pan fasting and the pan road. So they ask me when I finish with my fasting, I tell them. Um, Wednesday, so they say, all right, Thursday. So, I want to send out a word when I get to the fit. Um, anybody want to watch? No matter what people say about you know. No matter what people do, no, don't take up vengeance in our, in our hand. God said, if you tell us, vengeance belongs to him. Him said, leave all vengeance to him. Vengeance. You don't know what is vengeance? Right. When you're not upset, when you want to retaliate, when you want to do something to somebody, when you want to go after somebody, him said, leave all vengeance to him. And that is the word when we get to come put out here. Leave all vengeance. That's how we get from the fasting. He said, I will fight your battles for you. He said, you don't have to fight your battles. Just focus on the task that you have in front of you. That means whatever it is, if I your job, if I anything where you have to focus on it. And leave all vengeance to him. He goes on to tell me that every things or anything that causes us to have a vengeance spirit, it is a distraction. Distraction will come to let you lose your pathway. 
will let you lose the journey that you are supposed to go on. Will allow you to lose your vision. Allow you to use your sight. Allow you to see the prize ahead of you. So that is what the Lord laid on my spirit. He said, I know that you are a strong person. If I never know that you are a strong person, I wouldn't choose you for such a work. And with that work, it's not going to be easy and smooth sailing for you. You're going to get a lot of attacks, a lot of things are going to be thrown into your pathway. But then I said unto you, leave all vengeance unto him. Leave everything to me. I will work it out. And if we allow and listen to the still voice, yes. If we listen to the still voice, we never go wrong. But if we listen to the loud voice in our ears, that is what affects us. Now, the loud voice come with distraction. Oh, this one called. That is why somebody was saying to me, they were listening to a particular talk show. And somebody was saying, and that person were upset with me. Because when people call in to tell me things that the enemy is saying, I am upset. I was told that this morning. And I was going to speak about it on the live. While I was on my fasting, but the Holy Spirit said it is not the time. Remember, I said I wanted to address two things. Now, let me tell you something. The devil come in many ways, shape, and form. The devil have agents in every part of this earth. Now, it's not every news carrier you must listen to. The devil sent people. All right, I have a Planker Nation, and we call it the, the Planker Nation, them that are on here and love me genuinely to the point of loving me as a sister, a friend, or an auntie, they will not want to bring me distraction news, distraction news to distract me. They will not go certain place and sit with the enemy and then come back to bring me things to disturb my mind and my peace. Instead of their going on the enemy's page or on the enemy house or anywhere that they lie, they will be praying for me. So those persons who are in phone and calling and lying so that they will die for Auntie Donna. No, you will not die for me. Nobody will die for Auntie Donna. Nobody. Not if, I don't even think my children then. If the man come and say, I want to kill you for she, they won't take killing for me. Not even. They might be I will take killing from my children. So let me tell you, it's not everybody that say Auntie Dana, Auntie Dana means Auntie Dana well. Some people dwell in the negativity, they live for it. If you notice when I'm on my live and there's something negative going on, how it rises to the occasion when I'm talking about something negative. The only positive live I see Bill in a second is Miss Richie. And people would want to sit on it and listen to Miss Richie speak because she speaks positive and she speaks facts. Now, when it is negative things, persons are in their element, setting to hear the next news, the next mix-up story, the next who say, the next she say, and the next say. And they are the ones that is causing the havoc in social media, running from page to page, listening this, listening that, and then you guys want to call my phone to fill up my phone with your garbage. No, I will not. And if you love me, instead of going on pages and listening to people talk bad about me or anything, you would have prayed for me. Don't bring no gossip to me. And I'm not being disrespectful because I hear that you said, I list, somebody sent it to me that the lady was saying, Oh, Miss Donna must listen because we love her and we are one. I don't warn me from people. You guys don't have to warn me from the enemy because God already has my back. Whatever it is that they are saying, they are only talking. They can only talk on their phone. Let them come to touch me. Or let them send who them have to send you to touch me. Phone give them the platform to say all manner of evil things about me. And they can say, do you have you ever watched it? Look at it. Let me just tell you guys something. I am Dana Marie Go. I am unpicked and chosen by God. Blessed and highly favor. I have been doing charity for two and a half years, almost three, couple months away from three, because we are in the month of October. And let me tell you something. 
I have been getting fight from day one. And for the past six to eight months, or even more, persons have continually, daily, nightly, minutely been on my name, building all kind of stories, telling all kind of lies trying to get to it right here trying to get me at a point where i will come on phone and i will lash out and i will answer them because guess what at every time they do it they, they got up above open up them open up all the lies all the evidence if i had evidence and some of you so much i don't care what you look like or how powerful you is i would have to bring it forth so let me tell you something the devil is mad because every attack Every plan that he has set up for Auntie Donna, God overturned it. Because guess what? All those attacks, all those plans is lies. And they will stop at every level. You know what? My daughter said to me yesterday, she said, Mommy, why did you go on your platform and speak about Miss Solani? I said, when I heard about the nude pictures, I was shocked. Because I was said, regard, don't care if I... What somebody do me, I would not want to see anybody have them out like that naked in a phone. She said, you have graduated that woman, and I heard you say it on your life one year now. Her problem is not your problem. Whatever it is that she gets herself into, whether you love her or not, you shouldn't be speaking about it. Leave everything. That, because when they see that they come into my grandmother and tell lie and my grandmother, and they come and they tell lie and this and you don't, they will come. They are trying to come with everything for you to react. And you reacted yesterday. But you, I, 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 she said, I liked how you dealt with it, mommy. Don't let me come back and hear you speaking about this again. Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. So let me tell you something. The Bible said, leave all vengeance unto him. Leave everything, everything that has been thrown at you. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm on three-day fasting. And when I fast, it doesn't go on the concrete floor. When I pray, when I pray, it goes in the atmosphere. It saturates the atmosphere. It not go in the concrete or steel. And watch what God is going to do. It might, he might not do it this week, next week, next month. But he's surely going to do it. So today I am just here to encourage anybody. I want you all to share this live out there for persons who are getting a spiritual attack and a physical attack and feel like you must toe to toe with people and feel like you're obligated to answer people and feel like because guess what the enemy is mad because Auntie Dana is not answering the enemy is mad because they are not palatable they are not in any kind of predicament or anything for me to take up my phone and address them so I want you to understand today that the Bible said, leave all vengeance to God. He said, I will fight your battles. He said, your enemies shall become your footstool. He said, I will allow them to feast at your table. And a lot of them right now in this 4.5K is at my table feasting right now, watching my every move. If you listen and if you hear as my friend said to me, Donna, they all watch you because when they speak on their live, they say, look at her now, watch her now, this is her now, Tara her now, because I don't have time to watch people live that is negative about me. I jump over it. I watch positive things. I will go on chocolate and vanilla and listen to them because they are being comedic or they are speaking the truth. I will go at Madonna and I will watch Madonna and a few others. I will listen to Carlos. I will listen to if Chris Akos, I am not going to stay on it. And I watch Chris live mostly morning time when I get up. I try to stay in the positive lane. I try to stay in the lane that is leading me to somewhere good, not the lane that that is leading me to destruction so this morning I'm telling I'm a strong person I am a strong will person I am a focused person focusing on my business lies upon lies upon lies upon lies that is telling will not affect me and I want you all Planka Nation I want all of you to understand that Auntie Donna is strong only thing Auntie Donna asks of you guys to do is to pray for her and pray and I am always praying for myself I am a strong will person and this is a cleanse I never even call a team and ask them to fast I never even ask Paula to fast 
I said I'm on this journey by myself. And if anybody wants to come on, they can come on and join me. Because this battle is not for person. This battle is for me and God. This is what I'm going through now and what I'm fasting about and getting my result. So let me tell you something. The devil, the enemy needs a reaction. And when the enemy does not get a reaction, they are mad. They are mad. So they will stop at no length. But my focus right now is on Dana Marie go business, not on what persons in social media who have never met me, who have joined forces to speak on platforms about the things that is not so. So, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities of darkness. That is what the Bible said. So it not make no sense me come out and cuss with them. And talk to them and say back to them. Leave it to God and make God deal with it. Leave all vengeance to God. And that is a word that I got today. As I was putting on my perfume. And standing right here. God answers prayer. I am from a praying family. And anybody that is out there going through. Some of you women um, on social media. You are just as bad as the one spreading the rumor. The gossip and the lies. Because you feed into it. The first thing you take up your phone in the morning. I don't think someone will get up and pray. We now look what this is a page I say. We now look what this is a page I say. And we now look because we know spiritual. We know mind. My first thing in the morning when I get up and I pray and, in, and when I wake up is to call Joshi and go in there and say I look a word over him. Because most of me I sleep. Get up and go in the kitchen and say, Lord, bless me today. What me I go come up with? What me I go do? Me I go look if my kitchen organized. Me I go look over on the stair. Me I go set this. And, I, and these are the things that fills me up because I have close charity. I am now focused on my journey, on my business. So let me tell you now today. The Bible said, leave all vengeance unto God. He said, I will fight your battles for you. He said, each day of the morning, each morning, each day that you rise up, you a new grace and new mercies. What was said yesterday is already God. It cannot come back unless you try. And it is evil God, even if you try to bring it up into today. So when the enemies come upon you, don't argue with them. Prayer. Prayer. And you have to have a faithful, you have to be a faithful person. And said, so God never answer my prayer today. Or, you know, even if God not answer your prayer today, you still have faith and knowing that God is going to always look out for his children. God is going to always look out for you. I have never done anybody any wrong in my life. On this earth and the lies some breeder lies when me hear people say if I was to come in a phone and every lie with them tell I take up the phone and I say and I dictate and I say this never goes so that me leave them make them talk because as far as I see what's going on these people know my life more than all me even know it you understand so things for them say about me according to them in some of the things they know my life more than me. They know what the day set up like more than even me will get up. You understand? So today let us be focused on the good and not the bad. Let us each blogger even um, do we and others who try to bring negativity on them page because they feel like when they talk about anti Dana or anything, it brings views. Those are not good views. It's not every blessing is good blessing. And that is why a lot of the times, yes, that is why a lot of the times, I always said it's not every donation must come into Planka Shop. Some donation must not enter into Planka Shop. Some people money not to come here. Some phone call will come in, me not to take them. Me not to receive them. You understand? Some want to understand this. And we have two more days to go. Love you too, Jackie. Love you too. Bless you. Jealousy and bad mind. Cake business. You know, um, there's an eight cake to come up. I'm not going to do it this season, but I'm going to launch it this weekend. Um, I'm not going to add it to the cake line. I'm going to have it as a tester because I want to test it. I want to I wanna try it. 
and there's a lot of things in I, I am coming out with an 8 cake I will not talk about it until I do it on Sunday I'm sourcing the ingredients for it and I'm gonna launch it on Sunday and it's gonna be on the fruitier side um, but it's a, it has a very powerful taste to it and it's gonna be I, I don't know if I can manage so much cake but I'm coming out with it the Holy Spirit tell me this morning um, when I was in the bathroom so I said God you give me seven or seven is them is them magic number should I do the eight and the Holy Spirit said yes bring it out because these are the things that I like about you these are the things that I want you to focus on and I'm gonna come with it in my own style then I go own version on Sunday it's something new to the plate I'm just adding things to the Christmas chart for Auntie Donna all right Blanca shop Anyway, I'm going to go on the road now. Bless it. No, you can't tell me to stop, Shari. I'm, I'm working with what God said. Any ideas, anything that comes into my headspace, that comes into my brain is what God put in there. And after work, nothing what me do is not of me. If I bake a cake out there, the ideas never come from me. They come from the man up above. So if he said to me, put it out there, try it out there, I'm going to do it. I might not be able to do it. Because of the, 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 the vast java cake and the sorrel cake and the fruit cake that I have, I have a lot of fruit cake as you have people don't love nothing but the regular Christmas fruit cake and they want that. So you know, um who God bless no man curse. No. I'm not gonna say Sunday you guys will see. Might be before Sunday too, but you guys gonna see it. I'm gonna get the ingredients and I'm gonna work on it and bring it to the best when you eat it you're supposed to be tasting the ingredient you're supposed to be tasting that ingredient and it is very powerful so i will bring that out all right so bless upon yourself have a blessed day peace out god bless you all right bless upon yourself